Hey, what's up, everybody? We have a few things to talk about today. Bitcoin breaking bearish out of this rising channel. Or if you want to put a line at the tops, you can say that we're breaking bearish out of a triangle. Going to be looking at market cipher B, seeing if this bearish action is going to lead to another massive drop. Or if we could potentially be bottoming out soon. So first things first, let's talk about this bearish break that we just had for Bitcoin. I was expecting us to break bearish out of this little channel that we've been trading in based off of the daily time frame. It was showing signs of wanting to print a red dot, print a top while we were trading up inside this range. And plus, if you go down to the four hour, we actually printed a bearish divergence on the four hour as we were putting in the highs of this range. So I was expecting this. And when you look at where we actually just rejected off of, we rejected off of a weekly level of support and resistance. You can see we had weekly candle closes below this area. One pretty much closed above this area. And then this one over here closed below it. Plus, we also rejected off of this resistance trend line that we had since the all-time highs. So overall, we rejected at a very significant level, which makes me think that we definitely have the potential to come lower. Going back to the four-hour time frame, it does look like we could be forming a local bottom here on the four-hour, or at least it looks like we're starting to, but there is a chance that this four-hour momentum wave could end up looking something like this one over here that we got just before the massive drop. And there are actually some similarities here. We had a large drop and then we started building up some momentum again. Same thing as over here. We had the massive drop and then started building up some momentum. But as the four hour got weaker, as we started to dump, and as we were slowly bleeding down here, looking at the four hour, you can see that it looked like right about here, like we could have printed a green dot. If I zoom in, you can see how it kind of cuts in here, just like this one is doing right now, how it's kind of cutting inwards. But then it ultimately came lower as price continued to dump, and we didn't end up printing a bottom until much later. And even then, this bottom that we printed on this momentum wave was not the bottom we ended up dumping much lower from here and we were forming bullish divergences as we were doing it. So I think it is definitely possible that we see something similar over here where maybe we continue to bleed down a little bit more. Maybe we get another pump up to this resistance line but then ultimately end up dropping much lower. You can also see that the four hour money flow is decreasing looking like it could potentially cross over into the negative even though Overall, for the past couple weeks, the money flow has been increasing. So, I've already established that, at least to me, it seems like Bitcoin is probably going to end up coming lower. And if we do end up breaking these previous lows, I have some support levels below us that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But first off, I want to talk about this weekly time frame and the fact that it appears like we are getting close to a bottom here. Now you can see on the weekly time frame, the VWAP has been increasing since this original drop that we had down to 42k. And if it keeps up this trajectory, looks like it could cross over into the positive within one week here. But I want to look back to this weekly momentum wave that we had back in the summer because there are some interesting similarities that I see here. So if you put a horizontal line right where the VWAP is sitting right now and you go back to the last time that the VWAP was at this level, you can see that it was just about right here. And I'll put a vertical line here. And what you'll notice about this momentum wave back here is when we were at this point, it did look like we could potentially print a green dot on the weekly here as well. And we were sitting a good bit above the lows of this range. And this point actually happened to be the high point before we got the final dump, before we put in the final bottoms of the summer. And looking back to the momentum wave, it looks like it could have printed a green dot at any point within these few weeks. 
but as we went on to put in the final lows, the weekly VWAP started curving over a little bit, started slowing down in momentum, and the bottom got pushed out a few more weeks. And I think it is possible that we see something similar happen over here, where if we do end up coming lower here, I could see this weekly VWAP getting dragged out for maybe a week or two more. This downward action can't continue forever. Eventually, we're going to have to have, at minimum, a relief rally. Maybe we don't go on to put in all-time highs soon, but maybe we end up range-bound for a little bit longer. But at some point, this downward action has to stop for a little while, and it does seem like the weekly momentum wave is starting to bottom out. It is showing those signs. Now, let's talk about some support levels that we have in case we do end up coming lower. If you pull a FIB retracement from the March 2020 lows up to the highs, we actually have a golden pocket sitting right below us. And interestingly, this golden pocket is also sitting at the lows of this range that we have been trading in for just about a year now. So we have a nice little area of confluence down here with these support levels. And I have been talking about the possibility of us making some lower lows here, potentially coming down to this significant support area, and the potential that we have to print a daily bullish divergence while we do this. And now that we have a bearish break of this rising channel that we've been trading in, I'm going to be watching for this closely. If we do end up seeing bullish momentum building up, like a bullish divergence on the daily time frame while we come down to this area because of how significant of a level this is think that could potentially be a local bottom signal for bitcoin worst case scenario if we end up losing this yearly range if we drop below these lows it honestly looks like we are going to come straight down to 20k take out the previous highs of the last bear market and we also have the 786 of this FIB sitting right at this level. Plus, this is the only area that we had some resistance in in this area. We basically just shot straight up to 42K once we broke this level. So I'd say ideally we want to hold the yearly range. But if not, I don't think we're going straight to 10K. I think 20K is going to be a tough level to get below. And in my opinion, I don't think... We are going to go that low anytime soon. I'm thinking worst case scenario, we should get a relief rally at some point. If the bearish action continues after that, maybe we can see 20k. But at least in my opinion, I don't think we're going to see that level anytime soon. And ideally, I wouldn't like to see this level ever. But it is definitely still a possibility. Plus, if we get a bounce from this level... I think a triple bottom is a pretty bullish indicator, at least according to Google it is, so maybe we can make something happen from that. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I really appreciate all the support everybody, it means a lot. And I will see you all on Sunday for my next video. Peace out.